is glycolysis an anaerobic or aerobic process or is it the common step for both aerobic and anaerobic respiration got confused yes glycolysis is an anaerobic process that is it does not need oxygen and is the common step for both aerobic and anaerobic respiration but today in this video we are not going to study glycolysis we are going to learn a trick that will help us to remember the steps involved in glycolysis in their chronological order so first let's see the different steps involved in glycolysis glucose when enters a cell the glucose is trapped inside the cell by converting glucose to glucose 6 phosphate now glucose 6 phosphate is then converted into its isomeric form fructose 6 phosphate and fructose 6 phosphate is converted into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate now this 6 carbon product is broken into two 3 carbon product that is dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate which are interconvertible now this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted to 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate and 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate is converted into 3 phosphoglycerate which is again converted to 2 phosphoglycerate and to pep or phosphoenol pyruvate and finally to pyruvate now let's see the small mnemonic that is going to help us to remember this chronological order of glycolysis the mnemonic goes like this good gracious father franklin did go by picking two pumpkin and pepsi packet good gracious father franklin did go by picking two pumpkin and pepsi packet here the g from the good stands for glucose g from gracious stands for glucose 6 phosphate f from father stands for fructose 6 phosphate f from franklin stands for fructose 1 6 bisphosphate D from did represents dihydroxyacetone phosphate G from go represents glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate by represents 13 bisphosphoglycerate P from picking stands for 3 phosphoglycerate 2P from 2 pumpkin represents 2 phosphoglycerate PEP from Pepsi represents phosphoenol pyruvate and finally P from packet represents pyruvate so Let's repeat the mnemonic again. Good gracious father Franklin did go by picking two pumpkin and Pepsi packet. I hope this was helpful and interesting. Please comment below if you like it and do mention any topic you feel like having mnemonics or if you guys have some other funny and interesting method to learn. See in the next video till then happy learning.